Hi. After working on the skywriting project, which some of you saw and some of you tweeted about and some of you were afraid was the work of terrorists, <laughs> I started to think what would the city look like if it were full of signs. So this is my sign manifesto that I'm going to read to you. Aha. My sign manifesto. Here's to a sign in every window, bumper sticker on every car, billboard on every building. Here's to a sign at the city limits that reads, City of Signs. And throughout the municipality, more signs, more direction, more instruction, more regulation, more information, more communication. This is the geography of somewhere, where everywhere is named, known, and explained. Here's the self-published bumper stickers. Way to go, Norm! Status updates on the front lawn. I'm pregnant! Changeable letter yard signs. I have gas today, and I'm sad. Neon signs and apartment windows with famous literary quotations borrowed from the public library. Here's to intersections filled with signs that contradict, equivocate, and or suggest. Here's to images uploaded to social media simultaneously rear projected on front windows. Your neighbor posts an image of freshly baked apple cake what was virtual is now across the street. Walk over for a slice. Nothing to say? Post a blank sign. An empty sign is an empty sign, or a floating signifier, or simply a pause before the next exhalation or exhortation. Need some extra cash? Rent your sign. Or don't. But advertising and personal messages bleed into one another, and finally the line between public and private is erased. Here's the sandwich boards on people, bikes, dogs, and trees bearing suggestion and complaint. Here's the storefront signs that read, LOL, and lost our lease. Love stories told through the language of signs. Last chance, everything must go. Space available, now open. Here's the motivational posters of nature in nature. Nailed to trees, perched in branches that read, dare to soar. Here's the bushes pruned in the shapes of letters. Here's the patriotic flags, sports team flags, favorite color flags. I love my lab flags and poles to hold all the flags. Here's the car roof rack rotating LED signs with direct voice input and speech recognition software. Systems for nuanced auto-to-auto -auto communication. Dude, stop tailgating. Here's the free billboards on City Hall and skywriting with occasional misspellings, public messages for the people, by the people. Here's to signs and arrows on the sidewalk pointing the way, accumulating palimpsests of left and right and turn and just keep going, just keep going. Here's to ripeness indicator lights on produce and QR codes etched into bananas, apples, mangoes, potatoes, tomatoes. Here's to picket signs produce, pro-produce signs at farmer's markets, and anti-sign signs in public squares, handwritten student council election type signs on poster board, taped, stapled, and waved by attorneys and CFOs in neatly pressed suits. Here's to air dancers, sky flatables, hot air balloons, and Hollywood sky tracker searchlights for everyday celebrations, such as a student loan finally paid off. Here's the signs that are nosy, signs that expose, to ticker tape translations of cell phone conversations in public restrooms and stores. Here's to architects who retrofit buildings to hold more signs, to designers who design signs, to city councilmen and women who promote sign industry job growth. This is Collage City, a Kurt Witter's world where information abuts this about disinformation, the new city of boundless graphical communication creates a democratic whole in which all citizens, private and corporate, have equal space to holler and whisper. Ideas are constantly updated, traded. Old and new technologies coexist in perfect tension. Online interactive mapping through computer vision systems and image recognition software allows for satellite data collection of all words and phrases, data mined by people, bots, and trolls processed through advanced algorithms. 
parsed and sorted to mirror the evolving concerns of the polis, delivered to politicians, delivered to reporters, to lobbyists, and to you. This is Science City.